Hi guys, this is what you're going to do. First of all, you're going to write down the title. It's going to take you about 10 seconds, perhaps. And then you're going to uh, get onto the next slide. I guess you're going to watch this video before you do that. And I'll put that right at the top with an arrow pointing it to it saying, watch this video. But I can't do that yet because I'm still making the video. Uh, next, we're going on to slide two. Uh, you need to have a little quick read through it and write some notes. I'm giving you one minute to do that, okay? That's a little timer in the corner. It'll start playing automatically. Next, you're going to watch, go to the next slide, slide three. You're going to read what, through what it says, and you're going to write down what you think are the key bits of your notes. Look, I've got this little note icon that shows that these are things that are important for your notes. Next slide. Again, read through, make some notes. You've got a minute or thereabouts to do so. Uh, then you're going to do a Edpuzzle activity. So you uh, go into Edpuzzle, log in with your Google credentials. It's going to take you about five minutes. I think the video is two and a bit minutes long. So you've got a little bit of extra time to answer some questions. I've said approximately five minutes. Um, when you've done that, you're going to go to the next slide. You read through, you make a couple of notes on the things you think are important. For example, um, metal plus water makes metal hydroxide and hydrogen. That's quite an important thing. You get uh, one and a half minutes to write them down. Go to the next slide. Uh, you've got 60 seconds. Wow, I'm giving you a lot of time to write this down. You can write everything down there. But think of what's the most important thing to do. That uh, more reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from its compound. Okay? Then you're going to go to the next slide. And you watch this little video here. This is the story of Susie Sulfate. It lasts for 5 minutes and 19 seconds. So uh, watch it. And then you're going to answer these questions. To help you answer the questions, I put a short section of the reactivity series in uh, blue here, where a more reactive thing will displace anything below it because it's less reactive. Okay? I've used the symbols instead of the words. If you don't know what these symbols are, you can look them up. Uh, I reckon that's going to take you a total of 10 minutes and 19 seconds. Um, then on to the next slide, slide nine, you're going to uh, read through and you're not going to do anything other than read through. You don't even have to make a note, a minute and a half. Uh, then you're going to do the next uh, slide. You've got a minute just to read through. I'm giving you a little bit of extra time because I think um, we might have gone over a little bit at some stage, but we'll see how we're doing. At this point, I might uh, get to, so I'll check. Uh, I'll write in here, check in with teacher, so you can check in with the teacher. Next slide, uh, you get a minute and a half to read through and make some notes. There's my little note symbol, make some notes about these things here. Next slide, um, we're going to read through, you've got a minute and a half again, make some notes, make sure you know your test for hydrogen, I've got an arrow pointing specifically at this bit. Um, if you're in present mode, then your timer's run, so you don't have to... Uh, faff around with the setting your own alarm clock. Next one. Um, you're going to answer some questions. You've got three minutes. Next slide. You're going to read through. You've got one minute. I haven't put a timer in. I'll put a timer in in a second. Uh, the table, it says, is on the next slide, uh, but it's a lie because uh, it's actually on the slide afterwards. Um, next one, it says, answer these. So you've got to answer those questions. You've got two minutes. Next slide. You've got to answer these. Uh, I've given you four minutes. Next one, you've got to match up these. So the facts on the left match up to the reasons on the right. I'll give you two minutes. And again, we'll have a check-in here. In with teacher, that's me. Um, next slide, you've got to read and answer. Oops, I'm, I'm going to click. I'm giving you just two minutes to uh, do that. That means you've got to work really fast. Next slide, uh, you've got two minutes to answer a couple more questions. You might use a bit of time from the previous slide. Next slide. You've got six minutes to read through and answer those questions. Whew. Next slide. You choose one of these two videos, um, the one on the left or the run, one on the right. It'll take you up to 23 minutes. Oh, phew. We're pretty much done. The slide after that is home learning. So this takes about 15 minutes. So you're going to do either the one on the left or the one on the right. Easier on the left, harder on the right. If you want to try on the hard one first, the uh, words are the same as the ones on the left, so you can uh, support yourself as well. You can differentiate. And last but not least, for another 15 minutes, you're going to make a mnemonic. That's where you use the first letter of each of the letters in a word, like I've done here, uh, to make up your mnemonic using the symbols on the right. Here we go. So we're using these metals, which I might drag a little bit bigger if I can, just a tiny bit bigger. There we go. Uh, and a tiny bit bigger that way as well. 
because I don't need the end bit of blue stuff, um, to make your mnemonic. So there's your words, try and make one. Phew, all those instructions done. See you in class.